this video, we're gonna give you a preview of the new Nvidia Grace CPU recently announced at GTC. Now, before getting into specifics, a good place to start would be why Nvidia needs to have a CPU when there's the obvious options from AMD Epic and the Intel Xeon ranges. Well, apart from the obvious one, which is increased revenue for Nvidia, there's an easy answer. Epic and Xeon CPUs, although extremely powerful and capable, are designed for all server workloads and are only lightly adapted and tweaked for the most demanding tasks like HPC, deep learning and AI. And this is because CPUs by their very nature are a jack of all trades, but masters of none. As Nvidia GPUs and DPUs are the market leader in HPC, deep learning and AI, the company wanted to design a CPU specifically designed for these workloads to complement these other components. The use of AI models is currently in exponential growth with increasing complexity too. Deep recommender systems are being enhanced by relying on tens of terabytes of data and conversational AI is being improved by using hundreds of billions of parameters. Nvidia believes that scaling these massive AI models requires new architectures with fast access to a large pool of memory and a tight coupling of the CPU and GPU. The grey superchip CPU has been conceived to connect seamlessly to the HBM2 memory on NVIDIA A100 and H100 GPUs. The latest generation of NVIDIA NVLink delivers 900 gigabytes per second of bi-directional chip-to-chip bandwidth between grey superchip and these NVIDIA GPUs. This connection is seven times faster than PCIe 5 and provides a unified cache coherent memory address space that combines system and GPU memory for simplified programmability. On top of this new chip-to-chip -chip connectivity, the Grace Superchip CPU itself is quite different in its architecture, using two CPUs to form a superchip made up of 144R Neoverse V2 cores and one terabyte per second of memory bandwidth. This new approach delivers twice the memory bandwidth and up to 10 times better energy efficiency compared to today's server memory. The ECC LP DDR5X memory coupled with Gray Superchip's large high performance last level cache delivers the bandwidth necessary for large models whilst reducing system power to maximize performance for the highest demand workloads. Furthermore, the Gray Superchip CPU like A100 and H100 GPUs runs all the NVIDIA software stack and platforms, including NVIDIA RTX, NVIDIA HPC SDK, NVIDIA AI, and NVIDIA Omniverse. Alongside the Grace Superchip, there's also another version of Grace announced at GTC, the Grace Hopper Superchip. This combines a Grace CPU and a Hopper GPU as used in the H100 accelerator. This too features the same NVLink C2C system and delivers the same 900 gigabytes per second performance and with up to 512 gigabytes of LP DDR5X CPU memory per Grace Hopper Superchip. The GPU has direct high bandwidth access of four times more memory than available with PCIe. So with a unified server architecture from Nvidia based on Grace CPUs, Hopper GPUs and Bluefield 3 DPUs, we'd expect yet another groundbreaking uplift in performance in the coming months, as all these components have been honed specifically for most demanding HPC and AI workloads. And of course, we'll be back with more video content about Gray CPUs as the server portfolio develops. Building on the certified architectures of EGX servers, we expect to see HDX Grace-based servers for HPC and AI alongside new OVX architectures for Omniverse deployment. Look out for 3XS versions of the above coming soon. Until then, keep watching by subscribing to the channel and don't hesitate to get in touch or leave a comment below.